it's Ruth the Traveling Quilter and I miss Wednesday's quickies because I was working and sleeping so on Friday now we're doing a quilt shop tour we are here at Country Store Quilt Shop in Lovington New Mexico on a windy day so we're gonna go in and see what they have here so come with me and let's take a look Look at the size of this store. It goes on and on and goes to the other side. Now you'll see a few blank spots on the wall because the owner is this week at the, let's show you this. It's in Dimmit, Texas at the Ugalala Quilt Festival. So this is this weekend, April 5th and 6th. So there's a few little blanks, but there's still lots of stuff here to see. Let's take a look around the store here. We have Patterns, walls and walls of patterns. See some Eleanor Burns, circle quilts, just anything you might want. If we look to the top, they have all these old spools up at the top of them. On both sides, they're spools and spools and spindles. How about that? That's a collection. Come on around here. We're going past their wall of panels. So we have panels, racks and racks of panels. So on the hanging, on the hanging hangers. So you just pick your panel and let them know and they will find the panel you want. I'll post their website so you can take a look at what they've got because you can always order online if you're not here in the area. There's a little wind pinwheel quilt, and then we have um, back quarters down here. That looks like all Christmas back quarters and Christmas fabric and more books. I wish I could see all the quilts she's got at the show too. I might have to make a trip over there from where I'm at. But we have a little blank spot here. We have jelly rolls. Jelly rolls, Christmas, Christmas. This is just all Christmas here. Haha, <laughs> this is what I, maybe I need. Quilting is my great adventure. Cute sign. So she is a Janome dealer here, so she has Janome machines. Hound's tooth of every color. Is this flannel? That is flannel hound's tooth. There we go. What do we get around here just a little bit further? And you're gonna see something really neat. Up here on the counter, she has an old national cash register. We'll see, we'll see it from the other side too. They're a busy little store here. I don't have a little, little boy, but look at this. this I don't think I've seen that before. These little Viking, that must be a panel, little Viking, and then little pinwheels to do the Vikings. And I, you know, I love a churn dash and look at those little cows on this churn dash. Do I need that? You know, I like looking as much as I like showing. That is so cute. Oh, we got toweling. Here's some Valentine's toweling. All kinds of that in this cute church pew all the way up the wall with the fabric she doesn't have with her at the sale. But you've got 25% off of Christmas right now. And there's a little bit of Halloween in there. You know, I'm a sucker for the Halloween fabric too. Huh, an apron there, just made out of a little panel. And then we have the yellows and blue florals. Oh, we have things reserved. I won't touch. Somebody already claimed those, so I can't get those. Over on the rack on straight ahead here, wools. I believe we have just little chubbies. So wooly charms and just different pieces of wool. I've got to put my book under my arm there. So just for your little wool applique, and then she has some wool or wool felted, hand dyed felted wool to make 
like eyeglasses cases. But she's got every color of the rainbow there. They plan on me shopping a lot. <laughs> Have a little grocery cart, so they plan on me shopping. I'm going to squish over this way. Rick Rack. And what are these? Oh, pre cut log cabin. So enough to make a 12 inch block. This is a 29 by 39. So it's pre cut just for log cabins. They're from Maywood. And then I'm also pre cut here to make a Sister's Choice block. So they're all pre cut there. And she has the buttons. Who needs a button? So buttons by the scoop here. Just a rainbow of buttons. Come on down here. Oh, look, a little Fisher Price. A little Fisher Price phone. Makes the little people. Look at the little people. Everybody loves Fisher Price little people. While we're looking at things. All the toy sewing machines, the miniature sewing machines. Did you have one of those when you were little? I had one. I guess it went away at some point. And a giant pin cushion up top. <laughs> Don't work here, I'm a consultant. More Halloween. Let's step on back here and then we'll, we'll come up around the other way. She has a nice selection of embroidery. She's got a Kimberbell here, lunchbox quilts, all up in embroidery. Rolls and rolls of stabilizer. And glide thread. So if we like glide thread, she has every color of glide you might ever hope to have. And Aurifil and King Tut. She has a many brands of thread here. We'll head back to the classroom. They're working on things there. We will try not to catch the ladies. For a dollar. Here. We'll go this way. Don't get the ladies. <laughs> Come this way. He's trying not to get the ladies. I have that pattern. I need to make it. <laughs> uh, she has the Highland cow over there. <laughs> Watch your step there. All right, now we go into the colors and batiks. So she's got this room divided up in colors. Pretty, pretty. And still blank spots on the wall where she's out and about. Just a rainbow there. Has everybody been Staying warm or cool, whichever you need to be. Staying out of the wind, out of those tornadoes that are through the Midwest and then onto the East Coast. Oh, she's got a variety of aprons up there to show the different patterns. And layer cakes by the dozens behind me. I need to not turn around, I think. Like, do I really need that? Isn't that pretty? like tie-dyed, hand-dyed, we'll put it back for now. I do the shopping after I do the looking. Oh, and there's another one. This whole rack, it comes to the other side too, but we have just the empty spaces there where she's got it out and about. <laughs> I guess I'm better off coming when she has things gone so then I can't get everything. Oh, she has Missouri Star Rulers, wonderful rulers. Eleanor Burns, Creative Grids. She covering all the brands here. Mm 
Looks like we've got a little bit of Civil War type fabrics over here and some bright novelties. I see Elizabeth Hartman there. I think I need the Elizabeth Hartman bunny rabbits. I don't see it up there, so maybe she has it with her. Oh, I see that cartoon fabric right now. May have to come back and take a peek at that. <laughs> Look at this one. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Paper dolls. I'm going to hold that one up here. Look at these paper dolls. Isn't that cute? And then there's also some clothes for your paper dolls. That's a moda fabric. She's got a whole bunch of it here. Look at these little English paper piece. Somebody worked on that. And this is tied. And then each tie has a little button, a little white button right in the middle of each little tie here. But that's how, that's how big those are. So tip of your thumb, each little square. We'll just keep on going. We're still in the color block room here. They got your red, white, and blues. Got some Southwest fabric for our Southwest friends here with cactuses and hot peppers. Been liking the green chilies here in New Mexico, so we will be leaving that <laughs> in the next few weeks. More patterns. I can't shop yet. I have to keep looking. Cannot shop yet. Little clover tools. Walk on up here. And then you see all their Janome machines up there. Hmm. Keep stuff handy. A nest organizer. Gypsy quilters. Any notion you might ever hope to have she's got here. Everything. Oh, there's a chenille bench pillow on top of a batik. Just some more shop samples there. I'll walk on up to the front and show you the other shop samples, but we've got a long arm there. I'm sure she would sell you one if you wanted one. Any of these Janome machines, but we won't go looking at the machines. <laughs> We're not here to sell them, but there's a bunch. She would take care of you. And your rulers for your long arms. And when we get up here, just to show you some of the embroidery things that um, these machines can do. And she's got the, the big top of the line brother machine, so. So this is a, like a double store right down, right downtown. It's got some barn, barn quilt blocks here in the front window with an old machine, just her little front window here. Need you a barn block. Then we're going to head on out to the front of the store again, just get the other side of that. Now, make sure and share this with your friends and like and subscribe. We need to get up to that 800, and then we'll have a giveaway. Let's get back here into the store. More toy machines over here. Toy machines. A basket full of old spools. That's what you could do to display all those threads that you don't want to sew with any longer. The, 
the Mondo bags, all kinds of bags and collage patterns. Here we go. Over here, hand embroidery. Everybody's working on some hand embroidery again. She has lots of hand embroidery patterns. Hand embroidery quilt blocks. And got that crab apple hill. All kinds of those. We'll just take a peek up the rest of the other side of the store. And then I get to shop. Oh, I didn't see the Halloween. Look at the quilting on the Halloween. It's got jack-o'-lanterns quilted into the Halloween quilt. Trimming up her quilt. <laughs> What's your name? Suzanne. Suzanne. Ready? Suzanne here has made the Highland Cow quilt and she's just trimming it up to get ready to get her binding on it. That's cute. We need to get with that. It's beautiful. If you have a grandbaby or a friend for that, it's going to be yours. My husband. Your husband gets a Highland Cow. Bet a Highland cow. So we're interrupting her trimming. <laughs> Look at it. Here, get a picture of the rest of this cash register here, and then I get to go shopping. <laughs> Look at there. And so you can shop till you drop, and they'll ring you right up here. So like and subscribe. Make sure and come back and see me Wednesday. I'll be back. See you soon. Bye.